So I decided to recently watch all the Prom Night movies. Now I've seen the first Prom Night a really long time ago, forgot all about it, but Shudder had uh, Prom Night 2 and 3 and then I found 4 on YouTube. Someone ripped the VHS. So I will uh, review all the movies. Uh, the Prom Night 1 is, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis is in it, is about uh, kids and they're playing uh, this scary game and they accidentally cause a girl to fall out of a window and die. So they decide not to tell anyone. And then we skip to Hamilton High. Many years later, all of those young uh, kids are now about to graduate, so they're having a big prom. However, there's, a, there's an escaped psycho on the loose. So this movie sucks. I don't know why. I do know why. Um, it has a really low rating on IMDb. It's only got 5.1, but it's considered one of, you know, the three movies that Jamie Lee Curtis did, um, you know, when she was starting. You know, after Halloween, she did Prom Night and Terror Train, um, and this was one of them. And in this movie, you know, she's there, but she doesn't get to do much. The whole movie, nothing happens till about an hour into the movie. And, um, you know, we get a couple of characters to explore. First Kill doesn't happen till about an hour into the movie. And there's some memorable characters here and there, and there's a really corny um, disco dance scene, prom dance scene that's very 80s. That's enjoyable. That's the, probably the most enjoyable part of the movie, which is terrible. And then the killer shows up, and they have like a fight on the dance floor. And uh, yeah, the movie's just uh, really underwhelming because you know, uh, not enough killing. You know, it, nothing happens till about the last 20 minutes of the movie. Small amount of kills. You know. The, the villain is just a dude in a mask. It's not really anything particularly amazing. It feels really cheap. And the whole, you know, uh, it feels like there's a lot of like time wasting going on. And uh, so the first prom night, I only give it a, a five out of 10. Uh, prom night two is actually called Hello Mary Lou Prom Night Two. Uh, this is a supernatural slasher movie. I think this movie was supposed to be completely different. Uh, but they decide to change the high school the same and make this a spiritual sequel. So even though this one is called Prom Night 2, it's not really. Uh, it's basically about a um, very sexual teen named Mary Lou M uh, Maloney. And she basically wins the prom. However, she's so like terrible that she like ditches her prom date at prom to bang another guy and that guy gets mad and tries to throw a stink bomb at her but it catches her dress on fire and she dies a terrible flaming death um too much hairspray i guess but anyways um fast forward many years later that guy is now the principal of hamilton high and uh mary lou Maroni maloney's uh spirit is uh sort of like possessing people I guess not really but it's she's sort of doing like final destination style deaths to the different teenagers and she wants to basically make her mark and ends up possessing one of the teenage girls in order to kill the others and ruin the prom and basically have her own prom now this movie is really strange honestly the um the the supernatural tone is really weird and I didn't really like it I I do like that it's a Canadian movie um Michael Ironside's okay but other than that, the, the characters are pretty weak, and I didn't like the sense of humor. Not enough, like, killing going on. The ending's pretty dumb, too. Um, yeah, overall, uh, Prom Night 2 is a pretty weak film, which is weird because IMDb rates this one at 5.7, a lot higher. So if we go just by IMDb scores, this one's the highest rated out of the four, and I, I disagree. So I give uh, Prom Night 2 a 4 out of 10. And then we're going to go into my favorite of the, the three, uh, Prom Night 3, The Last Kiss. This one is a parody of the first two movies. It is about Alex Gray. He is a slacker teen who doesn't have the best grades, but he's great at football. However, he's got this like bully that like uh, the captain tries to push him down at every moment. However, his grades aren't good enough to get him to, to post-secondary, and he's got a girlfriend and everything. Um, but uh, Mary Lou M Maloney, the spirit escapes hell, and she's able to sort of uh, show up and basically have sex with him, give him confidence, and also kill anyone who gets in his way. She wants to sort of make him uh, her special project. This movie in tone honestly feels like a Nightmare on Elm Street sequel. It's great because Mary Lou Maloney 
She's got these amazing nonsensical kills. She'll show up in an ice cream outfit and kill a dude with ice cream cones. Amazing comedic kills, very goofy, tongue-in-cheek, dark humor. He has to hide the bodies whenever she decides to kill someone who's like trying to get in their way and you know his, his girlfriend notices. Um, it's a very zany plot. They go to hell at the end of the movie. It is just, it's just a riot, to be honest. The movie just keeps getting better and better as it goes on. And uh, really good acting from all the characters. Very memorable characters this time around. There's like Alex. There's his girlfriend, his sister. He's got this friend who's a little bit ambiguous, might be gay. You know, you got Mary Lou Maloney. All the teachers that are weird. Uh, the bullies. You know, everything's great about this movie. It's a really... Um, Excellent dark comedy. It's audacious. It's funny. It's it honestly feels like the lost Nightmare on Elm Street sequel, you know, she's like the Freddy. This is like the most, you know Fun of the of the movies because she's very out there kind of like Freddy There's like this weird fantastical element to it. It really works So I give the last kiss prom night three the last kiss a seven and a half out of ten and last and least is uh, Prom Night 4, Deliver Us From Evil. It is about a priest who is locked up in the church because he's like a whack job. So the priests have to keep him in line. However, he escapes and starts targeting teens because he finds them all filthy. So he mainly goes after these two couples that are uh, in a house, uh, basically. And the movie's so slow. Like the, the priest bad guy doesn't escape until like... Almost halfway during the movie, there's this weird uh, scene where one of the girls is like bisexual and tries to seduce the other one. It's so awkward. The kills are really bad. Um, yeah, it's just a really awful movie to be honest. It has nothing to do with prom night. Uh, you know, it's trying to play into the whole, you know, oh, se over sexualized teens, religious fervor that sort of gets explained in the second film. But the killer is really unmemorable, and so are all the characters in this movie. And Prom Night 4, you know, it uh, never got, it's the lowest rated at like 4.1. It's definitely not one of the better slasher movies I've seen. And even in terms of this series, it's the worst. So I give uh, Prom Night 4 Deliver Us From Evil a 0 out of 10. And there you have it. That's my uh, review of all four Prom Night movies. I enjoyed the third one the most, even though it's the second lowest rated, which is strange. Um, but you know what? The first one has the fun disco stuff. The second one, I don't like the second one. The third one's my favorite, and the fourth one's also trash. So those are my thoughts on the Prom Night film series. I will not be watching the remake. I heard it's crap.